What's up nerds, my name is Abdul Nafe and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one we're gonna be learning how to make this amazing render inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now this tutorial is mainly made for Unreal beginners who have very little experience inside of Unreal Engine 5. However, you will be expected to know the basics like navigating the viewport, using the move tool, rotate tool, etc. In this video, we're gonna be covering the basics of importing models from Blender, texturing, lighting, and rendering inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, even if you are an Unreal Engine 5 intermediate user, I would still recommend you to watch this video because it's filled with useful tips and tricks, which will help you simplify your workflow. So if you wanna take your Unreal Engine 5 skills to the next level, then start this class today. Thank you. Also, by the way, guys, if you want inspiration or ideas for your future 3D projects, then be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nafi3D. I post all my 3D work there. And on my stories, I post my process and uh, sometimes short tutorials on how to make um, the stuff that I make. Uh, recently, I made this uh, 3D forest inside of Unreal Engine 5. Um, and apart from that, yeah, just be sure to follow me over there. And I you will also get notified whenever I post a new sculpture class or a longer format course. And apart from that, if you want feedback on your art or you want to give feedback uh, on my art, then be sure to DM me or comment on any of my posts and I'll be more than happy to respond to you. And apart from that, yeah, let's start the video. All right, guys, so this is the scene which we're going to be making and you're going to see it looks pretty good. Um, and so obviously it's not going to be the same, the exact same as this, but it's going to be roughly uh, similar to this as well. Uh, so we, we basically have a bed here with some side tables and uh, some other assets which we got from Blender Kit. Um, Blender Kit is, a, is an add-on for Blender. Um, however, you can use any models which you want and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to. Um, and then we just added some cameras, uh, we just added some lights. Uh, and if I just press G to go into game mode, you're going to see that we have these lights. Um, basically, yeah, these are the lights, um, indoor lights, and I just duplicated these. And yeah, and these pictures, um, the way we got these pictures was that basically I got some pictures from the internet and then I created materials out of them and then I added them into this frame. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you the whole process of that. All right, so uh, here we have um, basically, uh, we basically have, yeah, we basically have sunlight coming in from here. Obviously, we're not going to be showing this side. Uh, I did try adding some curtains, but that, but they weren't look, uh, they weren't looking really good. Uh, so I just got rid of them. And here we have a chessboard, which I made in another uh, one of my Skillshare classes. By the way, that uh, guitar I also made in one of my Skillshare classes as well. Uh, but obviously, you can use um, other 3D models uh, from the internet as well. Uh, yeah, so let's begin with the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is that first I'm just going to cross this out. And I'm going to create a brand new project. Just open Unreal Engine. And I'm just going to go to Games, Blank. And here what I'm going to do is that just make sure that, the, that your quality preset is set to maximum. And uh, make sure that your ray tracing is turned on if you have an NVIDIA RTX graphic card. Uh, if you don't, obviously this option will not be available to you. Uh, otherwise, if it is available, then definitely you do use it because it does give you um, a bump in quality. Obviously, it does come with the performance cost. Uh, so if you can afford that and if you have an RTX graphic card, then be sure to turn it on. Uh, starter content, I'm just going to leave it on because we might use some materials uh, from that. Uh, and blueprint is fine. We don't need to go to C++. And I'm just going to name this bedroom underscore ss for skillshare and, and you can just uh, set the project location however this is fine uh, i'm just going to create the project all right so we are inside unreal engine and here what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be starting uh, with a brand new level uh, so we can probably use this level as well uh, by deleting most of these things however i just like to start clean and i'm just going to go to file new level and i'm going to create an empty level because we want to create the lighting and everything from scratch uh, just update this project by the way. All uh, right. Uh, so firstly, I'm just going to save all and I'm going to press control S to save uh, this level. So I'm going to name it bedroom. And I'm just going to go to window environment light mixer. And here we can just create the lights which we want. Uh, so we're basically going to be using outdoor lighting. Um, and it's, it's going to be sunlit mainly. Um, and we're going to be doing the indoor lighting later on. Uh, so I'm going to create a skylight atmospheric light zero create sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and height fog. We're not going to be creating this atmospheric light one because we already do have uh, one light and we don't need another one. Right, so uh, our lighting is basically done. You can see we have clouds, we have a sun, and we have an atmosphere and some fog as well. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to be creating a basic shape of the room. Now you can do this inside of any other 3D software as well, for example, Blender. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Blender and in Unreal Engine as well. I found out that Unreal Engine was a little more straightforward. I would say it is, it's a little more repetitive and it might not be that efficient. However, Unreal Engine is just uh, very easy to do. And obviously, many of you might not know other 3D softwares as well. So I thought it was really important that I show you how to do this inside of Unreal Engine as well. Uh, so firstly, let me just show you how to do it, in, do it in Blender. And then we're going to come to Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to open Blender and I'm just going to wait for it to open. Uh, and here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete the camera and the light. By the way, I would definitely recommend you to learn 
Blender or any other 3D software before learning Unreal Engine, uh, because obviously uh, there are some things which you cannot do in Unreal Engine. For example, like modeling, you can. I mean, technically you can, but it's not really good. Uh, so I would recommend you to learn something. Um, learn a 3D software before you learn Unreal Engine. Right. So what I'm going to do is that I basically just uh, scaled it down in um, in the Z axis, and so I'm just going to go to the internet and I'm going to search average bedroom dimensions, and if you just go to images. Uh, you're going to see that these are the bedroom dimensions which we want to make. So it, uh, an average bedroom is like 305 centimeters um, or probably like 3.5 meters. I think that should be good. So we can just go, uh, we can just click right here and inside this um, dimensions, we can set these dimensions to 3.5 and 3.5. Perfect. Uh, now we basically have our floor ready, right? Uh, so I'm just going to be, scale uh, I'm just going to be scaling it down in the Z axis a little bit. Something like that should be good. And we could probably make one cube and then we could just use it ha as a whole, um, as a whole, what do you call it? As a whole um, room. However, I prefer to do it like, I prefer to do all the parts separately because then we can add materials later on, very simple in Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to press Shift D to duplicate, Y to lock it to the Y axis. And now I'm just going to be rotating it in the X axis, R and X and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. And the height of this, um, basically the height of this is, I think it's my bad. Uh, it's basically the Y I mentioned, right? So I'm just going to be setting it to 2.7 because that's uh, the average height of a room. So I'm just going to be placing it something like that. And you can just complete the whole room. Uh, so you can just duplicate this, Shift D, Y, and just press it right there. And Shift D, R, Z to rotate it like that. And I'm just going to make it 90 perfect so basically we have a whole um house a whole room and you can just duplicate this as well shift d z and just move it like that oops my bad perfect so you can just export this inside uh export this out of blender and bring it inside of unreal engine 5 which i'm going to be showing you right now uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file export and we can just export an fpx but before that one thing which i forgot was uh to create windows so now to create the windows what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be simply using um the edit mode so i'm just going to press tab to go into edit mode and i'm just going to select the, uh, go to the face mode and if i just press uh, alt z on my keyboard you're going to see that we are having we are seeing all the sides so i'm just going to be selecting this face as well the inside face i'm just going to press i to inset and uh, something like that and let's just delete these faces so now you're going to see we have a window right there uh, if I just get out of my edit mode by pressing tab, uh, you're going to see we have a window. But the problem with this window is that this window is basically open uh, from the middle. And that's not something we want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going to the vert uh, vertex select mode. And I'm just going to be selecting all these vertices and I'm going to press I'm going to be pressing F. And now what F does is that basically it fills in uh, the gap and it just creates a face. So now I'm going to be selecting these two and these two. Press F. Again, these two and these two. Now there might be a more efficient way to do this, uh, but I'm not aware of any. But I think this is good enough, so we're just going to be going with that. Uh, now, if you want to, now let's say if you want to say um, modify uh, the window, what you, what you can do is you can simply go to the edit mode, go to right mode, uh, go to the right view, right orthographic view, and you can select all of these and you can press S and scale them down. Something like that should be, I think, good. Perfect. Uh, now, before you actually export this into um, Unreal Engine 5, what I want you to do is I simply want you uh, to press A to select everything. I want you to press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press A again to select everything. Press U to go into the UV Mapping Mode and press Smart UV Project. I'm just going to be explaining what we just did in just a bit, but for now, just press OK. Right. So what we just did was that we basically UV unwrapped this whole thing. Uh, and the reason why we wanted to do that is because when we import it inside of Unreal Engine 5, if we don't have UVs, if we don't have proper UV mapping, then what's going to happen is that it's going to show, uh, it's going to give us either, either it's going to give us errors or the textures are not going to be applying uh, perfectly. So we want the textures to apply really good. So that's why we're not going to be, um, we're just going to be UV unwrapping it. All right. So one problem which I noticed was that when we were scaling this down, we actually scaled it down in all axes, uh, which is why we're seeing this weird line right here. So we could probably undo that. And then we could like, do it again. Yeah, so I'm just going to be scaling it down, but in every axis except for the x axis. So I'm just going to press shift x. So it's only going to scale it down in these two axes. Now, if you just get out of edit mode, you're going to see we don't have that line anymore. And obviously, we have to UV unwrap it because we undid that tab AU and smart UV project. 
perfect uh now we could obviously do this with one whole object but the problem was that if we were to do that we would obviously have to apply one material to one object otherwise we uh unless we used um, separate materials on a sim on a single object but obviously that becomes more advanced so i would just recommend you to do this by using separate objects right so our room uh, our, the basic outline you now for a room is complete uh, you could obviously add some decorations on the wall if you want uh, however i think we're good with this we're, we're good with this so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be exporting this um, out of blender and into unreal engine uh, so i'm just going to go to file export and we're going to be pressing fbx and I'm just going to name this um, bedroom underscore um, structure, something like that. And I just, ha I just have this models uh, folder in which I store all my models, which I export from Blender in, uh, for Unreal Engine 5. And I'm just going to be exporting right there. Right, so it's done. And I'm just going to go to Unreal Engine now. And we're simply going to be dragging in um, that model. But before that, let me just go to content, right click. And I'm going to be creating a new folder called bedroom. Actually, I'm just going to name it models so that we can store all our models in here. Um, and I'm just going to browse over to wherever I um, exported that. All right, so we're just going to be selecting this um, file which uh, we uh, we exported. And then I'm just going to be importing this inside of Unreal Engine. And I'm just going to be pressing import all. We're going to get some errors, but just ignore them. And now you're going to see that we have these files. You can just uh, press the first one, press shift, and the press the last one to select all of them. And then you can just drag them inside of your viewport. All uh, right. So, <clears throat> but another method of this, of doing this is, well, well one which I recommend um, is by just not using this. But what I'm going to be doing instead is that I'm going to be using um, cubes, which I'm going to be use, uh, which I'm going to be with which I'm going to be creating the room. Uh, so I'm just going to be creating a new shape cube and doing everything inside of Unreal Engine is pretty um, good, I would say, because then you don't have uh, to like export and import everything. And sometimes you might face issues with that. So I would recommend you to do that. I'm just going to be scaling it down like that. And let's just scale it up. Something like that. Uh, so one thing that you can do is that you can actually import a model of a human being uh, for reference, uh, for reference of size. So you can simply go to uh, inter the internet and you can search for human 3D model. And you can just download any of these. Uh, there are many free models available. Uh, or you can just go to Mixamo.com and you can download one from there as well because that is, uh, they give you really good models. Right, so I'm just going to be downloading this one. So just download them. And um, you're going to see that we have this model. Perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to be dragging this onto my desktop. And then I'm just going to be dragging this inside of Unreal Engine. Import all. So we just have this one mesh. I'm just going to be dragging this in. Hopefully this is um, to scale. Because if it is, then well, we uh, well, our bedroom is quite large. So we're going to have to like make it smaller. I'm just going to be turning off the snapping so that we can actually snap it to the ground properly. Perfect. Uh, so right now our, our basically our room is very, very large. So I'm just going to be scaling it down quite a lot. I think something like that should be good. And I'm going to be reducing the camera speed as well. All right, cool. I think that should be a good scale for our room. Perfect. All uh, right. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm, you can just simply get rid of this or you can just move it away. And now let's create the walls and everything. So, but before that, I'm just going to be turning off the scale snapping and I'm going to be scaling it down a little like that as well. Something like that should be enough. Or actually, I'm not going to do that because then we would have to move this down again. Um, so I think that's fine. I'm going to be saving all as well. Right. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be duplicating this alt and just duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees. And you're going to have a wall right here. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be uh, scaling it down like this. That should be a good thickness for a wall and just, pr pr uh, just place it right there. You can even make it intersect a little bit, but make sure that you don't, um, uh, that you don't leave some gap in the middle because then light's going to come through and it's going to look really bad. Right. Uh, so the ceiling, uh, I think that should be a good height for the ceiling because we can probably move it a little down as well. So just select both of these and something like that should be a good size. 
obviously your room size is going to be dependent on what you what you're trying to make uh, you might be trying to make a whole hall uh, obviously that would be much larger so i would just recommend you to um search up the dimensions of the room which you're trying to make and then just make it according to what you need i think that is pretty good okay so now i'm just going to be duplicating the floor and i'm going to be moving it up like that and now if you go inside everything is pitch black just like it should be um so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be opening i'm going to be creating some windows so let me just create a window right here so the way we're going to be creating a window is that obviously there are other ways to do this uh but the, the but the easiest one is to simply move this down and duplicate it and move it up if i just move it like that you're going to see that we're going to have a window you can obviously add uh, more cubes to the sides as well to make it a little um to make it a little um less wide but i guess we're good with that um actually we can probably delete this one as well and that should be a good window for us obviously it's not going to be visible in our scene so it doesn't really matter that much i think that should be good perfect uh so now we can just start to work on uh the scene and we can start to add the objects